Hello, good morning, everyone. Good evening, mortals. Uh, we were all, we were not late because we were sucking on Shit. microphones. You can, we're just not talking. We're waiting oh. on oh, okay. the GM to uh, let us know that we're live. It. Oh, see, I changed my push to talk button for Final Fantasy related reasons, so I thought I was talking to you guys, but I wasn't. How many how many weapons give or how many magical items can you attune? I think it's three. I think it's five. Okay. <laughs> You're like, I'm not gonna do any research in that discrepancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know me. <laughs> hello, hello. Um Welcome everyone to Curse of, or sorry, Cooking with Chef Strahd in Castle of Enloft. Oh no. Oh god. I forgot about that. Uh, we're playing Curse of Strahd with my good friend. Say hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Uh, these are my good close friends and uh i was weirdly on time this morning or today whatever time it is i don't know time is immaterial all i know is that final fantasy is down for maintenance and i don't know what to do with myself honestly uh anyway you guys want to play some dnd &D? oh yeah yeah if you will recall uh you were in combat I'm on a boat, and I see a nerd, and... Sounds like fake news to me. Hell yeah. Uh, what sounds like fake, fake news to you? That we were in combat. Oh yeah, I guess that doesn't sound right. Oh wait, why is the turn order up? Oh, why are all these combatants here? <laughs> weird, 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 weird. Okay, well. I'm from Florida. You're from... What? Never mind. <laughs> oh no, Howard has turned into Florida man. I am a Florida man. <laughs> oh no. Wait, are I'm you gonna... actually are you actually uh, a Florida man? What? No, no, I'm not a Florida. Okay, man. Okay, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> um, just yeah, just the the only thing I know about Florida, uh, it, uh, it it's fully encompassing of Florida, is uh, a Facebook event that's let's shoot our guns at the hurricane to blow it away. <laughs> and that's all you need to know about Florida. It perfectly that's... explains it. Yeah. Um, my favorite thing is that the government actually had to come out and say, guys, don't do this. The winds will actually shoot the bullets back at you. That I'm made me really they happy. did it anyways. They absolutely did not. But, oh. uh, yeah, because the police were all over that Facebook group, of course. Um, but, you know what the police did do, uh, is Grimm's turn, because I'm the master of segues. Uh, so... Oh, is, it, is it because I'm gonna, uh, absolutely murder some people? With prejudice? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Why prejudice? What do you have against undead people? They shouldn't exist. Whoa. Okay. First of all, that is pretty racist. And second of all, let's play some D&D. &D. <laughs> so if you'll recall, you had just defeated uh, Vladimir, uh, or, well, I guess you didn't really know his name, but uh, you just walked in, a guy was sitting in his chair, asked you politely to leave, you said uh, no, and then killed him. Wrong. Again. Uh, and then... You decided now is a good time to break out the, the teapot and relax for an hour. And then immediately walked into an ambush that had about an hour to get set up. Uh, uh, and then some... The... Sorry, what? Sorry. Uh, I was about to make a joke about we head to the Winchester and wait for this tall blow over. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, in that case, you successfully avert um, being ambushed, and Strahd apologizes after being defeated by another group of heroes, and we can go play something else. Sweet. Yeah. It's too bad we weren't listening to the story of that other group of heroes, huh? Anyways, my turn. So, that's where we're going to pick things up. Uh, you guys are in the middle of combat in Argenvostolt. Um, you just broke in and started messing the place up. And uh, now it is Grimm's turn. Hey, uh, so 
is the one in front of me the one that I damaged last time? Probably. It is, yes. All right. Uh, I'm going to continue my rage and uh, continue to savage it. Uh, okay. Rude. Hey, Lavana. How's it going? Hey, Ambi. Okay. Uh, your first axe attack uh, cuts a large chunk of the creature off. It falls to the ground with a wet thud that tur quickly turns into mist. Your second attack uh, cuts one of its limbs off, as well as the upper half of its torso from uh, just underneath the armpit uh, to just over the other shoulder. And uh, your third attack, what are you doing with that? Still standing? Uh, no. Okay, then the third attack is going to go the one next to it. In uh, fluid motion, she's going to um, just continue the uh, flow of her axe. Okay, I just have to do some quick maths here. Uh, okay. And whoop, 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 whoop. what's this yellow circle? Square. I know yeah, shapes. Um, my P guardians. Oh, your P. Uh, okay, your second strike continues on and uh, hits the hits the uh, spirit directly mid center of mass. Your axe mostly passing through it, but clearly disrupting the energies that make it up. The thing keeps fighting, but it is obviously wounded. Because that's minus right. ten. Yikes. Oh, That's thank you, Blackthorn. Great. Oh, thank you, Blackthorn. You're you're up. You you resubbed. Thanks, buddy. Uh, okay. Is that all you're doing? You said that's your turn, right? Yep. Emerald. Wow, look at that health bar. So thick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Very very thick. Uh, I'm gonna spend a key point and take dodge action as a bonus action. Okay. Uh, and then I am going to attempt to kick both of these ghosties once. Okie dokie. I'm guessing the first one is going to the one right in front of you and the second yes. to the second one. He's just okay. going to try and follow straight through, going through one and hitting the other. Okay. Uh, so Emeril, uh focusing himself to ensure his own defense, uh, snaps out a quick kick and with a spinning motion, turning completely around, and when you turn back around to see what damage you laid in, one of the ghosts is completely gone, and the other appears quite wounded. All right. And are you doing anything else? Uh, I will risk it and step back. Mm, okay. One moment. Uh, where are you at? Oh, I'm... I missed something. Remember how I said I was all set up? I'm a fucking liar. You didn't have character sheets open? No, I did. Just missing one. It's the ghosties. It is the ghosties. Well, okay, <laughs> so hear me out. So there's two types of ghosty creatures. One of them is this type, and one of them is another type, and I've only got the other type open because I'm dumb. But in my defense, I am dumb and pretty to someone, surely. I mean, statistically. Okay. And then you step away and... Um... You can't provoke against ranged weapons and it's not going to get rid of its bow, so... It has its short sword drawn. Oh, it had its long sword drawn? Yeah, it drew so Both of them drew swords. Right, the right, right. Thanks for reminding me. Here you go. Does a 16 hit you? No, of course no. it doesn't fucking 30 doesn't hit you why would a 16 uh okay great so it lashes out at you but you focusing on your defense easily managed to evade the strike all right okie dokie candle uh what was the what was your thingy doing can you uh, read candle's full name first candler oh. candle candlington ugh Thank you for addressing me about my phone. Uh, um, no, Levon, I haven't. Yeah, the, the Spirit uh, Guardians oh. goes off on oh. uh, the Critter's turn. Oh, um, 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 but I'm going to 
I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna slap uh, him with a cantrip, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna gonna hurl a kachow of sacred flame. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, I just had to do something real quick. Um, let's see this Kachow of Sacred Flame. Uh, fuck, I hate that I just said Kachow of Sacred Flame. Uh, which one are you hitting? Uh, the the one remaining one over here uh, in front of Gwen and Grim. Okay, and it's going to make a save and potentially even save. <gasps> it did! How much damage does it do? Uh, nothing. Uh, on a successful save, really? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Great. Uh, cool. I deleted my initiative ghost. I can still see it. Don't worry, Emerald. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Spicy toss. <laughs> uh, chat, chat definitely didn't say you should rename Fireball Spicy Toss. Um, are you doing anything else, Candle? Okay, uh, so it is now the Revenant's turn. They are both outside the the P Ghost range, and they're both going to smack a fuck fucking Emeril who walked right up to them. It isn't Power right there? Oh, so he is. Okay, one of them smacking you, one of them smacking Power. So the first one is attacking you because they declared you first. Uh, does an eighteen hit? No. Son I'm sorry, bitch. Howard. What? I am so sorry, Howard. Uh, Howard does a 21 hit. Uh, one second. <laughs> I feel terrible. Shield? Do you have that spell already? I, I know you already used it. I do. Uh, it's in Hexblade. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, so what's your AC now? Uh, 26. 26, all right. Both miss. Uh, and Emerald breathes a sigh of relief. Um, okay, next up, it is the ghost Wait, turn. Uh, uh, the, uh, yeah, this guy's got to take his damage. Yes, and they will now take their damage. Uh, how much damage is it? Uh, 3d something. Let me Let me check. All right, he takes an unspecified amount of damage and both continues fighting and stops fighting as appropriate. Uh, so... Oh, 3d8. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh boy. three. Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, against DC 15. And does he take half on a successful save? Uh, yes. Okay, and it is a wisdom save. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, okay, he fails. Uh, so this spirit, uh, all at once, a dozen of the tiny motes of light, the tiny uh, angelic figures fly through him, uh, cutting him into ribbons and causing him to disappear. Okay. And then this one is going to uh, pick up his bow, drop his sword, and shoot Emerald in the back of the fucking head. That's the wrong attack. One sec. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. Gwen, you're up. Um, there's no other target towards us. I'm going to okay, make hi. my way towards uh, Emerald. Okay. And then attack. Uh, you just took 55 feet of movement. What's your move speed? Probably enough, I'm guessing. 50. Oh, it's 50, so it's just not quite there enough. You end up there. 
and then you could move forward, but it'd be a dash action. Fucking thank God. <laughs> oh my I'll stay God. here for now. <laughs> Alright, are you gonna ready an oh, action or anything? If only I'd ready my telekinesis as a bonus action, I could have shoved you the extra five feet. <laughs> I would have given uh, her disadvantage um... on the attack, though. Hey, oh, good yeah, to see you, Magic she... Chicken. Oh, wait. Oh. I still have a sling that oh, I could use. Uh, you do, and also no key points. Don't look at your key points. Get out of here. What custom loot? I'm just gonna use my thing. Fair enough. Do your thing. Okay, and which target are you attacking? Pretty sure they um, The one that I could see, because the other one's behind the wall. Uh, okay, fair enough. Let me just take a quick look at something here. Okay. All uh, right, so the first rock pings off the side of the thing's head, and uh, the second one goes wide as it flinches away from the first uh, impact. Okie dokie. Okay. How are you up? Uh, Howard looks nah, pretty not, wounded. Sorry, at this point. can you re refund Levon, uh, please? He's, he's not looking too hot, so. He's not sure if he, you can kind of see a look of doubt on his face. So he's kind of like scanning like back and forth and he's going to double back and like, ah, and he's going to take two swings with his newly acquired Mace of Terror. Neat. Scary Mace. Uh, are you still doing radiant damage right now? Yeah, I still got a spell on it. Uh, it's on me. It's not on the weapon. Oh, fair enough. And, uh, sorry, are you attacking the both at the same... Are you attacking one target or both? Uh, just this guy. Uh, sorry. Just which guy? This guy? I think that's the one I was okay. attacking. Yep, fair enough. Uh, I just needed to confirm. He's got that much AC. AC. Um, this becomes magical fucking... Oh, it is a magic weapon. Never mind. Uh, 14 plus... Uh, 24. Okay. Just had to do some quick maths. So, uh, you strike at the thing after screaming uh, twice, the first impact causing a mixture of light and shadow to leak from the head of the mace, and the second impact causing much the same, caving in the creature's rib cage and sh pulping the desiccated organs underneath. It continues to fight on. And you could always think... flex on the peasants, Lavana. Do I want to risk? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. Mm, okay. Uh, Grimaldi Bimaldi. I want to do a thing because I realize I may not have enough movement in order to. Because each square of movement is ten feet, right? Correct. And according to the length of your legs, each square is all of your movement. Fuck you. Because <laughs> you're short. Anyways, so uh, Grim is going to turn around, uh, basically realize that uh, she is too far away from battle in order to um, maintain her rage. Maintain her rage. So she's going to run forward. One two three and then she is going to um pause for a moment half the great axe in one hand kind of like psych herself up and she is gonna drive a fist into her own face uh all right roll damage because and let me hear me out no, I, I get it. Makes sense. You just have to take damage in order to maintain your rage. Um, yep. Yep. Uh, so please roll damage. Don't forget to include your strength bonus. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> 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 it fucking crit yourself. <laughs> I can't believe this I'm just sorry. happened. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, my God. I am lightheaded from how hard I'm laughing. <laughs> 
I feel like <laughs> you you're accidentally wasting a crit by like to hit yourself in the face. I would definitely infuriate you. That would keep you rage really going. Oh my god. All right. So Grim, furious with uh with the fact that she isn't close enough to rip people or rip these things limb from limb, uh winds up her own fist and forgetting exactly what her goal is, lost in her rage so much, she throws a punch that she would in a more clinical mindset consider quite an effective strike. Which lands square in the center of her face, breaking her nose, bruising her orbital bones in her eyes, and causing blood and tears to flow freely, uh, her head briefly swimming in pain. Uh, tears flowing freely, that's for fucking sure. Uh, as she remembers why she did that, then realizing how dumb she must be to hit herself that hard, just gets angrier. Uh, Grim, please take... 13 points of fucking bludgeoning damage, all self-inflicted. I have resistance to bludgeoning damage <laughs> while I'm raging. All right, then take seven, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> oh my god, that's the meta right there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Just fucking belt herself in the nose. All right. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! Uh, you may, you may, uh, you may. Uh, Blackthorn has pointed out that you're not resisted to getting a concussion. Uh, <laughs> that's for me to know, and for you to. to that's send for me to know, toast. and my doctor to fucking complain about. Um, <laughs> all right, so. Are you doing? No, that's a move and attack. Grim is out of action. Emerald, you're up. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck did we just... What did we just witness? I'm gonna say the words that Jordan loves oh so much. I'm gonna spend a key point. And Gunshot noise. Dodge action. <laughs> and then... Uh, turning around very Blackthorn, briefly... Blackthorn, please cl clip um, that for me. Please. Emerald whips around and is going to throw a Radiant Sun Strike at the ghost. Okay. Uh... Does that kill the ghosty? So uh, you throw your attack at the spirit, light uh, spilling from your fist, leaking out through your closed fingers and striking it center of mass, which causes it to burn around where the light bolt struck, but it does not fade. Okay, then I will continue uh, to I'll follow have to go back through and with my then. left arm. Uh, hey. throwing another one at it and then turning back around prepared to defend myself from the um, big bad evil boys okay your second attack uh, the light uh, shines through its head and the thing as the light fades from your your uh, eyes so too does the spirit and it is gone uh, and that's what I'll do for now Okay. Um, oh, um, someone remind me to get the clip of that uh, that moment. That was beautiful. I'm gonna clip that. Uh, Kendall, you're up. Boy, oh boy, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna move my little little metal guy up here, and that's like all of my movement. Okay. Um, and then I am going to. Uh, can I see that one now? Can you? I can see half of them. So yes, but he has cover. Okay, then in that case, never mind. I'm going to um, cast Guiding Bolt on uh, the guy what I can see right here. Okay, guide his bolt. You gonna you gonna give me damage or? Oh wait, hang on. Why didn't it, it didn't give me the prompt to roll damage? Do I have to? Oh, there we go. I have to click it. Um. Motherfucker. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> higher level cast. Four. You put two more spell levels into it, and it was like four. Uh. Anyway. Okay. So, uh, candle reaches out with a uh, bolt of raw spiritual energy, 
which strikes the uh, revenant in the in the rib cage uh, on his right side, and uh, he howls in agony and rage as he turns to face Candle directly. Doing anything else, buddy? Um. No. Uh, okay. Well, in that case, uh, they take. You want to roll your fucking little fairy boys? Which somehow came out roll. wrong. Wow. That's impressive considering their fucking wisdom save. God damn it. Okay. Um. <laughs> So once again, the hated little spirit starts surrounding them and attacking them, causing them to uh, have to beat away these mosquitoes of light. Uh, this one steps up and tar starts swinging at a uh, candle, who's the obvious source of them. Uh, thank you, Emerald. Uh, does a 12 hit? No. Of course it doesn't. Uh, so the first one attacks its strike landing true and skidding off the rounded plate that makes up your outer body. The second one, you uh, simply block away with one of your forearms. Uh, as it's getting away, Emerald punches it in the back of the knee. <laughs> uh, driving it down to one knee and causing it to stumble hard, bone protruding from the leg. Uh, it continues to fight on. This one's going to slice once into Hauer. And actually, you know what? This one is going to disengage. And then uh, move away. 5, 10, 15. Mm, okay. And it is going down the stairs. Uh, Gwen, you are up. Oh. To do those on time to others, I'm going to take a page out of Grimm's book, but instead of hitting myself, I'm going to hit <laughs> the um, ghost. Uh, Revenant, I think, but yes. yes. Or not. But, oh, rough, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> So the thing, um, with uh, you lance out twice with your spear, uh, your aim true and your heart steady. Unfortunately, that's at the exact moment that Emerald blows its knee out through the front of its leg, causing both of your strikes to go above the thing's head. Damn it, Emerald. Um, uh, how are I you up? I find that really inspiring, but alas, I don't have inspiration to give for uh, advantage on that. Uh, Emerald, uh, or Howard, you up? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna move one step. So when I disengage, which way did he go? That way. And I can't see him right now? Uh, can you see him? No, I can only see the end of the hall. That's because what, there's, the a, there's a fabric thing over the, uh, okay. stairwell. Hmm. I'm gonna pursue that the other guy. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, approved. I'm looking it over now, that's, and it looks fine to me. As far as I can Pretty go. intense, but. And then the other guy gets an opportunity attack against me. Uh, no, he absolutely does not. Why would he get oh. that? I don't know. Oh, sorry. This guy does. Yeah. That guy does. Uh, yes, he does. And does a 23 hit you? Uh, it sure does. Enjoy my 13 slashing damage. So as you run away uh, to chase after the other revenant, which you can now see is heading down the stairs, okay. um, you feel the sharp stab of a sword in the uh, back of your uh, bicep. It pierces through the chainmail there uh, in between the two bones in your arm out the other side and back out through, causing a massive hole. 
Ow. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, you did say that um, I could see the guy, right? But I yes, can't can. see him on the game. I can't see him on the map, but I can't. Uh, he's right see him. here, yeah. Okay, can I attack him? Absolutely, Am I in yes. range? Okay. Uh, so Hauer is going to put away the Mace of Terror and going to make two unarmed strikes. As you see, claws protrude uh, magically from the armor that he's wearing as he makes unarmed strikes against the dude. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Jesus fuck. That's a lot of damage for unarmed and strikes. It's magic. Yeah, because it's magic armor. Fuck Yay. me in the ass. Okay, uh, so you reach out, and as you attack, you feel right, happy, thrilled even, to be ripping this thing with your with what you think of as your bare hands. Just ripping this creature apart uh, with obvious glee filling your soul. Uh, yeah, anyway. 15 plus 13 is 28. Uh, the thing howls in rage and pain and turns to face you. Uh, Grim, you're up. Can I give Howard the full write-up? Um, I have a tiny goblin. I'm going to wait until he tries to take it off. So just give me two seconds. You have a, you're dealing with a tiny goblin? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Can I say hi? Hi. There, I did it. Are you proud of me? Goblin noises instead. Oh, man, I feel that. Also, stop saying goblin. It's reminding ah! me that Final Fantasy is down for maintenance tonight. Yeah, one sec. Um, I do other things, too, you know. Like, um, I went to work today. That was pretty good. Would you so... guys do? Oh, okay, Grim's turn. Uh, ten... 10, 20, and 5, I guess, because I can't, uh, and I'm lost. I mean, candle. either 25 or 30, you're still within range. Yeah. Um, and I am going to attack this revenant. Okay. Please. Wait, can you, can you climb onto candle at the end of your turn, then I can carry you down the hall? Um, no, not with a movement and an attack action full spent. Okay. Do it to it, friend. Okay, uh, Graham comes uh, running up, her face soaked in blood and tears and mucus, uh, and drives her great axe into the revenant, neatly bisecting the creature. It flops to the ground uselessly and ceases to move. Uh, Grim continues to attack it after a time, turning it into the world's most grisly puree. Uh, Emerald, you're up. Uh, can I can I now see the one that Howard is fighting? No, he ran into the curtain. It, is it open now that? Oh, no. Howard ran into the curtain. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, I and that's where the staircase was. Yep. I am going to click my heels together. Uh-huh. And go real fast. Got to go fast, boots. And then I'm going to run 20 feet this way and then get building up as much momentum. I'm going to sprint into here and I'm going to try and slam into the revenant knocking it down the stairs. Sure, give me an athletics check. I'm going to give you disadvantage for not being able to see your target beforehand. But I'll also give you advantage for using the um, the boots and getting a running start. So we'll just call it a wash. Ouch. This is a straight athletics check. Yeah. And that's unfortunate. Well, maybe not. <laughs> yep, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so you uh, come through the door and barrel into the middle supporting post on the uh, in the stairwell bounce off of it and end up in your current position, the Revenant having uh, been further back than you anticipated. <laughs> Oops. But you can see it now. Yep. Anyway, Kendall, you're up. <laughs> um, oh boy, okay. Uh, 
Um, gonna step here, and then here. Uh huh. And then, uh, I can't see anything from here, right? I can't see any uh, enemy critters. No. One step, two, three, four, five, six. I still can't see critters. Um, that is too bad. Uh, I guess that's my turn. Okay. Um, and now it's his turn. Please roll your uh, little ghosty boys damage. No reason, just cause I like I like you and want you to roll it. Uh, nine definitely doesn't fucking pass. <sighs> uh, so you see the spirits. As soon as you get to where you are now, the spirits uh, race off directly through the curtain, and uh, you can hear them attacking something on the other side. You can also hear the regular sounds of combat, and you heard a thump earlier that sounded like something uh, very large or very fast impacting the stonework. <laughs> uh, speaking of things impacting the stonework, uh, this revenant is going to attack uh, Emerald because he's produce producing a nice juicy target. Ba bow. Uh, oh no, sorry, he's attacking. Um, sorry, my bad, my bad. He's attacking Howard because he, Howard pissed him off basically, and he's a revenant and getting pissed off is his whole deal. Uh, Howard does a twenty-two hit you. Yes. Ooh, juicy. So, Howard, uh, you bring your your hand up to block the attack that's incoming. Unfortunately, your arm isn't as strong as it was just before you took a massive stab wound through the bicep, and you don't get it up in time. The sword goes straight for your neck area, only slightly deflected by the armor and the, the soft parts where your neck is articulated for movement it, are struck. Uh, ripping a huge chunk out of your neck and while you won't realize this until later narrowly missing a major artery power is kind of bloody and you see like blood oozing down his body mm. anybody who's like close to me sees that i'm kind of staggering and barely standing up like he's super hurt the revenant is then going to retreat provoking attacks from both of you Never punished. Ha <laughs> ha. One sec. I still get a hit. Oh, boo. Uh, this may surprise you to hear, uh, but you actually strike it. It's clearly what? focusing on its retreat. Oh, damn. Uh, in that case... However, your vision is beginning to swim, and you're not sure how, uh, how well you struck. With, like just an errant slash with his claw he's going to uh, use some energy and uh, ask Utayo for a blessing and he's going to smite okay uh, so I need one more D you need one more what? level 3 smite Ooh. no because he's not dead Ah, oh, right. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Okay, uh, so you strike the creature, uh, barely managing to keep yourself on your feet, uh, whisper a quick prayer, and instantly your arm uh, howls in pain. You actually feel the scream in your limb, but the energy lashes out striking the creature bodily against the wall and causing its corpse to fall down the stairs you stop you hear it stop moving when it reaches the bottom and it does not move anymore power falls over as he does that because he's reached out to try to hit it and he's just like shallowly breathing on the ground and he's like fuck you we are out of combat <laughs> So what are you guys doing? Uh, <laughs> it was one HP uh, away. It's too Grim awesome. Grim kind of collapses where she is. Mm -hmm. 
Power is going to um, again pray to Utayo and rub his chest slowly and use some magical healing to heal himself up a little bit. Okay. I uh, I don't know why, but I fully expect you to say I use some Vix on my chest, try and make me feel better. I mean that that is the blessing of Utayo. It's truly Vix paper rub. <laughs> it's just. Uh, this this stream is not sponsored by Vix Vapor Rub, just to be clear. <laughs> uh, Candle goes over to Grim and uh, uses Healing yeah. Word, and the, That's the my favorite verbal part component of the for Healing Word is going to be... Grim, get up. Uh, Grim, get up. Get the fuck up! Uh, go ahead and use your Healing Word. And who's laying on hands? That's me. I'm just how much are it. you? How much are you laying on? How, Everything that I got left, which is ten points. How how much hands are you getting here? Is my question. Uh, I it's very it's a pungent smell. Um, it really soothes the nostrils. Uh, uh, yeah. I, okay. I you know what? Do you know what I found out that okay? Complete sidebar from D and D. But do you know what I found out about the application of that substance on your body is supposed to be? Who are not completely sponsored by. No, no. Just to be clear, Vix Vapor Rub was a traumatic part of my childhood, and no company would ever sponsor you to say that, so we're in the clear. Um, it's supposed to go on the bottoms of your feet and your back. When I was a kid, it went under my nose and on my upper chest. Really make it hard for me to fucking breathe. Yeah, I got the same thing as you. Yeah. Yeah, no, bottom of your feet. <laughs> um, what does, uh, GM, what does Ooh. this window give me view of? Outside. Will I be able to see the graveyard? Uh, no, you will not. It's on the other side. It does not go on your chest. Um... Uh, Still moving fast. When you when you look in that room, by the by, you see a um, a form on the ground, uh, like a body wrapped in a cloak. I will investigate it. Okay. Uh, the cloak is surprisingly clean. The body, however, has long since rotted away into a skeleton. Okay. Uh, I will pick up the cloak. Okay. You're now holding your cloak. Uh, you note with some uh, with uh, unsurprising uh, uh, clarity that it is exactly your size. Okay, uh, I will put the cloak on. I guess. <laughs> cool. You begin to become strangled by the cloak. No, I'm just kidding. Well, just let me go now, then. <laughs> um, that's because the the company um, basically knows how people use it. Uh, okay. And, uh, you're wearing a cloak. Congratulations. Uh, is this a door right here? Yes. I'm going to talk to the rest oh, of the Oh, uh, could you please link the cloak of Arachna blah 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 in tabletop chat, Blackthorn? Uh, sorry, what was that? I'm completely deferring my time to this lovely note that was just passed. Uh, okay. Uh, Gwen immediately feels ragged as the heavy tension and adrenaline die with the last breath of the re revenant. As Grim sits down, Gwen's knees begin to give out uh, to the temptation to join her, but her paranoia keeps her upright, reaching the wall for support. Hmm. Oh, um, Blackthorn just fucking rules lawyered me on Vix Vapor Rub, and apparently I might be, I might have the wrong idea. Uh, apparently it, it says on it uh, for optimal results apply to chest, throat, and back. Which still isn't underneath your fucking nose, but you know, it ain't as bad. Oh. Yeah. It is a, it is a soft cloak. It is a soft cloak, yes. It is made of black silk interwoven with uh, faint silvery threads. While wearing it, you feel slightly <laughs> creeped out. I will note that a climbing speed does require you to use all four limbs. 
Um, yes, but <laughs> that Holy. there's not a whole lot of hundred feet tall things for me to climb. In one round, yeah. <laughs> not with that <laughs> attitude. Or two hundred <laughs> foot if I'm really we'll feeling audacious. Uh, sorry, what was that? Uh, if we can't find them, we'll fucking build them. <laughs> <laughs> this is now a Minecraft game. <laughs> Alright, you, you pull out a uh, block of dirt, place it directly under you, jump, and do it again, and again, and again. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I needed to reread the uh, description of that. It does not require all four uh, limbs. It just requires your feet. So you can stand upside down on a surface. Oh, goodness. Uh, Holy shit. I don't know. Dude, thank you, Levana. You can, you can sprint up the side of a building like it's no big deal. <laughs> I can corkscrew hallways. Details, Black Spider Details. Monk. Spider Monk. Spider <laughs> Monk. You're gonna uh, narrow to yeah. run up things. You know, you know that uh, scene in Inception that uh, everyone immediately was reminded of. Um, Emerald would be like, "Why is everyone having such a hard time with this shit? This is easy. Fuck. You just walk around. It's, I don't get it." Is there still an elk in this room? Uh, yes, <laughs> it's still trapped in that room. I go up to the elk and I and I try to calm it down and pet it. Okay, uh, as soon as it sees you casually walk in, if somewhat more bloodied, it immediately goes from being on guard to being, once again, bored, uh, backs up, and lays down on the ground. Easy. Easy. It looks at you with obvious disdain in its eyes. I don't understand PTSD, but I guess I respect it. Um... Can I get an insight check? Mirror dimension from Doctor Strange, that would also, yeah, yeah. It actually, uh, you, you aren't sure, but it looks offended for some reason. All right, um, I'm going to go back to the group and kind of like, you can see, the group can see I'm limping and still bleeding heavily. And I'm going to go up to Grim and just give her a giant hug. Okay. And I'm going to be like, we made it. Again. Grim just kind of pats Hower on the side. You note that Grim's yeah. nose looks like it was recently uh, set after a very serious break. I have to ask... Why did you hurt yourself as you did? Uh, it's an old gladiator trick. Uh, keep I'm just not going to bring it up unless he specifically states his helmet is off. Slow burn. I understand. I think if it is a bit odd, but it, if it helps, it helps. I don't care I if mean, he assumes. It also he can assume intimidates. all he wants. Well, that doesn't make it. It true. didn't intimidate the undead, <laughs> but uh, human opponents. Mm. I was I... terrified that you hurt yourself. In fact, nothing. Nothing's better than uh, punching yourself in the face, bleeding, and then screaming at the enemies, and then charging them. A lot of them shit their pants. I can imagine. Mm. And Howard kind of lets it go and, and smiles to the rest of the group. I could use a bit of a rest. I look at Candle because he's talking. Okay, Candle, go ahead. Or do you just want me to read this thing? Hmm. He's talking to Candle. He's talking to Candle. <laughs> Oh, I was unmuted. I was muted. Whoops. Sure, you were. Yeah, you definitely thought you were muted, you fucking animal. Oops, thought I was muted. Fuck, for fuck's sake. Okay. Um, so, Candle observes the party impassively, taking note of how wounded they are, but ultimately opting to pragmatically hold on to his healing magic in case get things get even worse for them in this place. 
Uh, Kendall, would you like to speak the rest? Yeah. I agree with Howard. We should get out of here. Baby Harness put Grim on its back and then run fast while Grim smashes everything. <laughs> I agree. Somewhere nearby, perhaps. But I agree 100%. Okay, what are you guys doing? Limping down the stairs. You said there was a curtain with stairs over here? Uh, yeah, over here. It's the way you got up here. Uh, oh, as you walk by, uh, now that you're not stressed, let me just check something here. Uh, Q36. Can you change it so that the gray uh, areas that I've seen stay there? Uh, I thought I already did that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's working now. Yeah, I did that last session. Uh, sorry, guys, one second. Just bear with me. You'll like the result, potentially. Q30, maybe. I just need to see what the DC is on it. doesn't fucking say uh okay so as you walk by you note that um there are obvious scratch marks in the ground next to the top of the stairwell and you spot a secret door here Ooh. i just love baby bjorn grim that's funny i like that a lot a secret door yes right here no right here I open the door. Okay. Uh, you see a giant elk. Ah. I see. And, and then uh, power doubles back and starts going down the stairwell. Okay. Uh, is everyone else going with him? Yep. I'm going to click my feet together so that I'm not <clears throat> going fast anymore. But yeah, I'll follow. Okay. Uh, everyone takes 3,700 damage and explodes. The end. Let's go play some fucking Exalted. Uh, okay, Grim tells the story of how she once did that same maneuver in a fight against a few bandits that had been brought into the ring as punishment, and at the end, gently touches Imril's arm. Imril, you heal for eleven or for nine points of damage. Grim, you cannot heal with rage. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Feel better. Anyway. Thank you, Grim. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> you sound so disdainful towards me. <laughs> no, just tired. I... Uh, I just gave you some HP there, Emma. I already did. Oh, cool. I get to hurt you. No, he let me keep it, please. Uh, mm, where's your little dibble? I'm gonna break your fucking balls. Where'd you go? <laughs> Where'd you go? Okay. I hurt me. You don't get to. No one makes me bleed my own blood. No, sure that's about just that? rude. I said no one makes I... me. I did it of my own accord. <laughs> Apparently I'm unco oh no, I'm back to not making it conscious now. <laughs> I, uh, I dealt 2,000 damage to him. To. Vampire? Where? I don't see one. There's no vampire here. Uh, at Pegs, could you, uh, or Blackthorn, could you please type exclamation point vampire for me? Uh, okay, so you guys continue down the stairs and exit Argon Vostold. And you find yourself in the woods around Barovia. How, uh, how long did that take? Uh, most of the day. It's approaching evening now. Uh, the walk, I mean, like, in fragments of ten minutes each, how long did that take? To get downstairs? Uh, and to the forest. Uh, 20 minutes. Approximately. Okay. So you guys are now here. You're right outside Argon Vostold. Sorry, no forest. Once we, uh, once we get outside, I'm going to reach into my fuzzy bag and throw one of the fuzzballs on the ground. How many of those do you have in a day? Three. Okay. 
I gotta look up that chart again. What was that bag called? Bag of tricks, right? Yeah. And what color was your bag? Uh, gray. I'm pretty sure gray. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you throw a fuzzy ball on the ground, and uh, a large, large, large rat appears. Howard takes a step back and, like, draws his weapon. Uh, Candle walks up to it and crouches down and says, Hey, little buddy, I'm Candle. It looks up at you with knowing eyes. Yes, Grim just kind of looks at the rat like, All right, this is another thing that's happening. <laughs> when you look up, you can literally see the elk looking outside in from the uh, window in the uh, in the room. It's just can looking roll, out with a single tear dropping. Can I roll face. insight to figure out if the elk is looking disdainfully at the rat? Uh, you can, yes. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, cast guidance on you to figure that one. Uh, no, you are absolutely not. You don't know what she's doing. Uh, Grim, it's actually quite easy to see that the uh, elk is looking down with uh, disdain, but not at the rat. Uh, something very near the rat, but not the rat itself. Howard puts Howard? away his weapons. Um, Candle uh, <laughs> remembers the elk and then says to the rat, Go keep him company. Uh, the rat enters Argon Vostold. <laughs> <laughs> um, the rat enters a mid-level dungeon to go keep an elk company because the party makes bad decisions. <sighs> so this is specifically why I got Candle Bag of Tricks. Because I know he's not going to use it to help the party. Most because it would be one hundred percent shit. Oh my god, host. this is so funny. Uh, Keb is a hundred percent an agent of chaos, and I wanted him to uh, have tools to continue said chaos. It's his art form. It's really his art. Yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay, that happens. So we should. Oh, oh are you kidding me? What? I wanted to bring out a third animal to keep them company in there as well, and it's another giant elk. <laughs> Did you just do that? Really? Okay, uh, so another giant elk oh, appears in, in the clearing, which looks down to Kendall expectantly, then, as if by uh, some mystical connection, looks up and sees the other giant elk in the fucking castle looking down at it. They, uh, they clearly exchange a look that conveys more than mere mortals are able to detect. And the second elk looks down at Candle disdainfully. <laughs> uh, Candle looks back and forth at both the elks. His face completely, utter utterly devoid of expression. <laughs> uh, okay, you know somehow you've offended both elks now. You're not sure what's going on. I think we should stop and rest for the day. Maybe no more elks today, Candle. Candle gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, I, I, sorry, I didn't mean to. I wish you could emote. Oh my god. I do not know if you feel regret for what you have done. Wait. Or if you find this fun. Wait. No, it, it's fine. One second. Uh, and Grim kind of beckons to Candle. Uh huh. Uh, can I take Candle into the um, dead chat just for a quick second? Sure. I wanted to comment on how you guys literally committed mass murder on multiple occasions and had less self reflection than I summoned an elk in a bad place. I just want to be clear: you've entrapped an elk, and it's giving you more time and more th reason for soul searching than desecration of corpses. Crystal Strad, baby. <laughs> How many corpses have we desecrated? Uh, coffin maker's home. Yeah, whatever. They were dead. That was uh, insuring insurance against the undead. Uh huh. Emerald, you yeah. specifically were like, we should not it's be like, doing this. It's like seeing a bunch of human suffering, and then you see a caged animal, and you're like, no, caged animal. <laughs> 
Oh my god, this fucking party. All right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a break, I think, because I need a fucking drink. Uh, please be back in a ten minutes, boyos. I'll be here with chat because I love them. Uh, we're gonna go on break for ten minutes. People who just rejoined the call. Okay. Is uh, anyone else staying with chat and I? Me. Cloak of cloakiness. The cloak of clo cloakiness. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to this screen. <laughs> Why is there a watermark <laughs> on my face? One sec. Jordan's like, I'm gonna switch over to Final Fantasy. It's it's yeah. in maintenance. Mm. Cat look. girls. Stop. Some super, fun, um, some super fun diabetes stuff, but I will be back in a few minutes. Great. I'm glad to hear you'll be back. Um, wait, 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 wait. Uh, where did it go? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Hello. Uh, hacky, why? Guys, <laughs> why are you abusing me? I just, you, I, I want so bad to just go and and play my new favorite game and everyone is abusing me. This is this is ridiculous. No. This is ridiculous. I hate it. Uh what's up everyone? How's everyone doing? I'm good. I'm just uh oh. I'm I slept in today cuz I was I was up until 4 in the morning playing Final Fantasy because I was leveling classes. But I see that your wife is there. Uh, yeah, I was... Sorry, I was looking at wife's butt. Um, uh, Lavana, Lavana, can you please do a scene where it's, like, a, a scene where somebody is, like, standing on the ground looking up in a window, and then in the window is just this elk just, like, looking down its nose at the party <laughs> disdainfully? Please. Oh my God. That would make my entire week. Um... <laughs> I, uh, I, I regret so much <laughs> giving you guys these things. Like, the, the unspoken okay. rule here is that I can approve or disapprove of, of different items, so anything in the game I've explicitly approved of, which has almost entirely been a huge mistake for me. I'm just gonna, uh, make a five second meme. Give me a sec. I'm just gonna mute so you don't hear me clicking. Okay, I appreciate it. There we go. Get that shit. I mean, there's like no regret needed. <laughs> XX no regrets. Yeah. As the monk adds a second spell to his now growing just the, attack list. Just the fact that you can run 100 feet in less than six seconds on this fucking ceiling is deeply upsetting. Deeply 200 upsetting. if I really feel like it. I know. That's why I said less than six seconds. Um, Jesus. So how's everyone doing? I'm, I think I've almost beaten Dark Souls. So that's fun. I've potentially almost beaten Dark Souls. I don't know how far I am. Pretty sure I'm pretty far, though. Has anyone else played Dark Souls or just me? Am I, am I the only Soulsy boy? Okay, good talk. I told you I'm making a meme. I know, but then you ignored me and I hurt my feelings. Well... <laughs> Both of them. Um, do you know what... Side note, do you know what the weird part about being a streamer is? One of the weirdest things? What? You see yourself a lot more as a streamer than you do in, like, normal day-to-day -day life. And, uh, it stopped making me uncomfortable. And now it's just kind of a thing that happens. It's weird. Because, like, I have to watch myself do stuff and, like, check my camera and make sure everything's good. And I look fine. I look whatever. It's not the... It, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a weird feeling. It's a weird feeling. So, you know. Good talk. Yeah. I don't know what to talk about, really. Uh, honestly, I'm pretty sleepy today for no reason. I wasn't up till four in the morning playing Final Fantasy like some people. It was me. Yeah, it was me. You were. Um, me. 
I don't blame you in the slightest. I, I spent an entire day once just doing crafting. So clearly I can't speak at all. <laughs> there is a perfect image there. Huh? I'm worried now. I am a concern. Uh, well, it's not going to be a uh, egg drawer level. I mean, that's for sure. Can you pare that down a little? Uh, it's kind of not gonna lie if you read through it all of it is kind of important like it has to be awkward but anchored between two solid masses uh mm -hmm. yeah I, I it is at, all I read, important you're right yeah i read through it and i was like i i don't want to have a huge block of text but yeah, but you need to. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Um, can you do something more simple, like the wish spell? I sure. Okay. Well, put that on. I'll your, take that. Put that on your character sheet. Cast it in Barovia and see how that goes. Okay. I wish. I, I wish I was strong. Uh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh. Your wife dies, and uh, you are eternally tormented. Congratulations. You're very similar to Strahd. A plus. Sounds like with the life I was already living. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> How, when did your... You're not eternally being tormented. You're just being tormented uh, for fun in this adventure. The, fun. The, do you know what I really want to do at some point? Um, after Curse of Strahd, I want to come back to these characters in a standard adventure. Just like, they're out in the Sword Coast and there's like a goblin den or something. And these fucking horror-hardened heroes just bust the door in and, like, take every every single uh, precaution they can. And, like, they're all terrified and fucking cruel to the goblins because they... These are evil. This how it works. Evil is bad. I uh, look forward to the day that either Gwen or Candle or Grim attempt to put their ear up to a door and Howard and I both lose our minds. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Oh my god, I forgot about the one fucking mimic in the entire house. Oh, that was so good. And the best part is Candle didn't even, or, or at the time, Elian didn't even like uh didn't do this to any other door just the one door that was a fucking mimic <laughs> oh, I could not have planned that better <laughs> oh god and then he never did it again fun fun story yep oh god and then he died good for him you know good for him he escaped this horrible tormented place Probably. Uh, Aki, you're supposed to check your Discord. Aki? Aki checks the Discord now it, has 30 strength. It's beautiful. I love it, Levana. Okay, good. I'm just trying to fix things. Fix things? Yes. Don't worry about it. Canvas bigger. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. So, what? Okay, so let's talk about some real stuff here, Aki. What is your favorite part of Final Fantasy so far? Um. And why is it the cat girls? Well, I'm already a cat girl, so. That is true. That is true. But serious? Uh, serious? I actually like how integrated all the crafting is, to be completely honest. Uh, define um, integrated, but I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Because, um, like, I'm playing a character that's a botanist that also has... Fuck is the select button. <laughs> um that also has the um 
Oh yeah. So I've got... Like, I can use several different, uh... Um... Like, crafting and gathering mm -hmm. stuff. But they all integrate. Like, I can go pick up, like, muddy water with miner and use that to make uh, distilled water for alchemy, which then, like, I can start making other stuff. Or mm -hmm. I can use, like, my miner to um, metalworker, or not metalworker, uh, goldsmith. Um, mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Like, I, I use botanist to go to... Um, in a way, it contributes to you being a goldsmith. Yeah, it's just, yep. it... I like that, too. Yeah, I think that's really cool. When you level them all up together, too, it's like, oh, fuck, I need, like, different th uh, items from, like, six different crafting classes. Well, best start clicking my class change macros. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, again, I do want to... Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up in the morning. Uh, at any rate, is everyone back? Are we all here? Are we ready for Curse of Strahd? Yes. <laughs> that was in my soul. Stop. <laughs> You're the one that, that started it. Yeah, well, fucking, I'm also ending it. <laughs> That's enough of that shit. Cat girls. Stop. No. Oh, wife is home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Uh yeah, is everyone back? We got Howard, we got me, we got Aki, we got Emerald. Who are we missing? We missing Gwen, we missing Candle. I'm here. Hey. God, you wish you were missing Candle. I I absolutely do not miss I was wishing Candle. Wish I was missing Candle. I'm good at words. I I'm what? Super, <laughs> Excuse me. Um I stream every day, so I'm really good at language that is English. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are you, are you sure? Fucking wonderful at it. Uh everyone you always said compliments me desperately? for my good talking guyness. Mm-hmm. Yep. Bow, bow, bow. Okay, let's do D. &D. Uh, get rid of that and then get this up and this goes like that and then boop and then we're good okay uh so you are outside argon what are you guys doing uh how far are we outside just outside you are not far outside argon how far should we go Are we going back in after? I suppose. I get the feeling that the revenants may not stop. Lovely. Uh, I leave it up to you then. GM, can I make um, some kind of a intelligence based check? Uh, I want to know if I'm aware of any way to destroy revenants permanently. Okay, uh, first, please call me by my real name. A game maintenance hater. Uh, yes, how can I help you? <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> anyway. I would, I would like uh, yeah that's, that's actually a knowledge religion check. Since I have some experience with undead things am i able to discuss with candle and see if i can relay like what is it that these how do we kill them have um, you seen anything like this before yes you may aid another in this well they discuss this i'm going to pull out my holy book based okay. around the death and destruction of undead and redeeming souls and see if okay. there is anything on revenants about that Okay, please make a separate check, and I will also okay. give you advantage. Okay. Uh, so, Candle, you got a 22. Oh, wow. And Emerald also got a 22. Uh, so you guys all come to the same conclusion basically at the same time. Uh, revenants can be destroyed by either completely destroying the body or causing it to be in such a state that no animating intelligence could use it, uh, as you've already done. 
uh, or you could also resolve the the thing that the uh, the revenant was dealing with. But critically, that one doesn't always work. It works a lot of the time, but not all of the time. So if the revenant, for example, uh, was pursuing his own murderer, once he had killed the murderer, about 75, 80% of the time, the revenant ceases to be. But sometimes it doesn't, and it generalizes its its target of ire into something else. Well, let us hope it does not occur to me. And of course, these ones just keep Rest coming back because Barovia is a fucking hell. As hellhole. much as they hate whatever they are pursuing. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, uh, game maintenance hater, if like, so out of character, I had an idea that like, mm -hmm. if we fuck up the bodies, like if we separate them and like put like the arms in one part of the castle, the legs in another part, like the torsos in a third part, the skulls in the fourth part. Uh, very uh, evil, continue. Would, yeah, that would keep them from getting reanimated effectively, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, is that evil? Would that be evil? Should I even suggest that out loud? Well, it is the desecration of a corpse. So yeah, that's pretty textbook evil. Um, Go ahead. I don't care. Call the cops. No, no, because if I if I go full evil, then uh, meta game wise, that's not good for my spirit guardians because then they do necrotic damage. Uh, actually, on that note, according to your character sheet, they should have been doing necrotic damage the whole time. Nope. Good or neutral, not evil. Uh, hey, Candle, you want to check your alignment and then get back to me? I'm evil. What? Okay, since when? I don't remember exactly how it happened, but I can think of a few instances where that might have fucking come up. I know that you made yourself evil as a meme uh, to bother... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was aware I was at true neutral because I went, I went east once and then I went south once. Yeah, that sounds right to me. I'll let you change back. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't think you were chaotic evil. <laughs> <laughs> a chaotic evil why. candle is just the toaster you throw in the bathtub <laughs> wow <laughs> I'm just thinking this explains why he locks up the giant elk in the building and walks away mm -hmm. uh, okay Gwen uses her spear as a makeshift cane as they walk using, only the, using the pain only marginally Perhaps it was the lost connection to the blood spear or the battle, but she's exhausted. Uh, yeah. So, how far are you guys getting away? Asking I for a friend. Go to Gwen and offer uh, to help her walk. Okay. I can help you. I can only limp as such myself, but perhaps we can limp together. I appreciate the company, but I thought you were way more injured than I was. I am quite injured, yes. But sometimes when two injured people help each other, they are stronger as well. Well, thank you. And Howard just kind of kind of limps using obviously like kind of limping using her as a crutch <laughs> okay and uh how far are you guys going uh asking for a me i will point out nightfall is coming soon Do um does we... it look like there'd be a clearing nearby that's like safer to take a temporary camp or shelter or didn't we already make a camp nearby once before um, you made one further down the road than where you are. Okay. Um, this, this hex here, uh, oh wait, are you guys in the right map? Yeah, you yes. are. Okay. That hex there, this is a fair distance away from the castle. You should be able to see if something is approaching, unless it's particularly good at stealth. Um, and it is an open area. It's a little cold this high up, but other than that, you should be fine. Can we shelter somewhere closer to, like, the crest of the forest, like, right where the forest meets? Sure. You just have to go down the road a bit, which is this hex and then this hex to get there. Because this line here, that's cliff. That's an elevation marker. Uh, based on our knowledge of how much time we have left in the day, will we make it 
to that point by nightfall? Arguably, if you're moving at full speed and you won't have much time uh, for setting up camp. <laughs> and we're all what do you there. think that we want? Do oh we stay God. there or do we go in the open? Um, chat just pointed out that Emerald could simply go ahead uh, of everyone else oh, yeah, right. and uh, and set up camp because, uh, and I quote, Emerald doesn't care about cliffs. Yeah. God, if you want it. to scout ahead, <gasps> wait. Right. With that means that we can get back into Kratsk anytime we want. This is yep. also true. With sprinting, Emerald could literally go down the entirety of the cliff in one round. I am. F oh my god. Narrow to run. I'm gonna uh, click my heels together. Uh huh. And be like, I'll go set up camp. And... I, I'm, I'm handing Emerald like things to set up camp for my pack. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Go you gotta go fast. <laughs> so Emerald approaches the cliff and walks off it. <laughs> Just goes straight down. That is pretty Power, evil, like, Blackthorn. Power, like, kind of looks over the side to make sure he's not, like, falling to his doom. <laughs> That's fun. Ah, uh, yes. Cliffs. They were a threat once. Okay. Uh, so you guys are going to travel down there? Sure. I think that is a good plan. Okay. Uh, let me just check Anybody something else? real quick here. Is it low or high I have to roll for random encounters? Uh, it's high. Damn it. <laughs> Emeril, do you know what the funniest part about your message about incoming spite random encounter was? What? It came after my private role for a random encounter. <laughs> Amazing. I always do that when you guys are traveling, uh, regardless of... Oh! Um... Hang on a sec, let me think about something. I don't think so, because I'm not a player, and it specifically says in the net uh, 20... Don't think about it, just do the funniest thing possible. Uh, yeah, like, summon straw. That it... Uh, <laughs> that's not funny. That it has it's to funny. be a that's player. That's pretty funny. So <laughs> I don't think I can let that happen. Uh, no, someone just tried to nat 20 my random encounter roll, but I don't think it works ah. that way. Oh. Ah. And then you guys are like, do it, coward, but I Please think I'm going to put my foot LOL. down. And, uh, say that uh, according to the Twitch rules that someone designed, not me, someone else probably, uh, the nat 20 can only be built, applied to player roles. Oh, thank God. So, no. Um, yeah, okay. Emerald, you set up camp. And after uh, less than an hour, everyone else stumbles into the camp that you've set up. Uh, Emerald has a fire going, and the uh, sun is just beginning to fade uh, from the sky. Serious respect, though, Blackthorn. That would have been fucking mwah. Chef's kiss. Managed to start a fire. I see. I will nod in response. Okay. I half expected you to fall down. There. Oh so yeah. Did I. Uh no, no no. So Emerald, you instinctively know that your cloak how your cloak works because of how the chat loot thing goes. Okay. But everyone else just watched you jump off a fucking it, it, everyone else just watched you like go, Don't worry guys, I'll go set up camp, take all the camp supplies and fucking walk off a cliff. Like <laughs> <laughs> power starts to burn some incense. Um, and bless the area with the sensor uh, and do his rounds around the camp um, pausing in, in certain points to gesture um, and talk and mutter to himself uh, okay um, you note that when you mutter to yourself you're getting answers um Emeril just straight up took all the camping supplies and he's like yeet Power is just trying to ignore the, the voices that are talking back. It sounds now like there are two groups of them. Or, more accurately, one of them is not a group. 
but the rest are. Jordan. Yes, what's up? Can you check the memes? <sighs> okay. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta show this one to chat. This is fucking great. I wondered where you went. I was like, why is Grim not talking? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Chat, you gotta see this shit. This is so good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Disdain. That's so funny. Just the fucking elk in the window. That's just I just... That's the reason it took me so long is because it literally <laughs> it, took me, it took effort to make that last like uh, cattle there actually like gross in terms of um, <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> the pixels. Okay. <laughs> I'm so stupid that I thought it was five different elk and not zooming in on one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna Jordan. Die. Hey Jordan. Cat girls. <laughs> Turns out that uh, okay. the Grim made a cat girl version as well. <laughs> well, I know what our next flash screen is gonna be. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell you exactly what the thumbnail of this video is going to be. <laughs> disdain. Disdain. Hey, give me a sec. I'll send you just the image of disdain. Uh, I'll yeah. Can, the can you can you get me a version of that that has more of the castle in it and isn't um, fucking nuked to hell? There you go. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh my god, that's so good. I love that it's disdain, too. It's not even disdain. Like, it's yeah. spelled wrong. Yeah. Oh, Specifically. Fuck. Okay, let's play. Let's play some Dungeons right, and let's Dragons. Some, yeah, let's drag in some Holy dungeons. shit, that was so funny. Oh, ah, my ribs hurt. Okay. Uh, so you you get a camp together. Uh, so Grim kind of sits down, um, in front of the fire and just kind of blinks slowly, as okay. if like you know she's just <laughs> exhausted. Kind of off okay. into the fire. All right. Uh, who's got watch? I'm gonna try to rest up first because I'm dead as fuck. I would like to RP before we go to bed. Please. I'm still walking around with the sensor. I'm assuming that I'm just like still talking to myself gesturing out into the darkness. Okay. Uh, halfway so, through your rounds, after night falls, uh... Oh. Who are you using that on, Kendall? Myself. Alright, great. Uh, Howard, do you sleep in armor? Uh... I usually do, but we haven't really talked about it yet, so I'm assuming that in most scenarios where I'm safe and have, like, adequate shelter... Oh, half yeah, uh, if there is, like, an adequate shelter and I'm not, like, camping out in the wilderness, then I will take my armor off, but if I'm out in the wilderness, then I am sleeping in armor. Okay, so you're doing that now and taking the point of exhaustion? Uh, yes. Great. Uh, so anyway, as oh. you walk around, uh, you note someone walking up the road towards your camp. Who goes there? Uh, the man not carrying a torch or any sort of um, light source or even a weapon really approaches. He says, I've come to check on your camp. Can I perceive who this person is? Uh, as soon as he speaks, a chill goes down your spine as you recognize the voice of Strahd von Zarovich. Immediately, I draw my weapons, and I make noise to the rest of the group. Okay. Uh, he holds his hands up and says, Please, please, I'm not here to fight. Then what are you here for? Ah, I understand you've acquired a, a book. I wish to reclaim it. It belongs to me, you see. 
and I would see that you return it. What book is this? He looks at you for a moment. Um, that was a lie, Howard, so I'm going to need you to go ahead and roll deception. Uh, oh, poor Howard. That could have been great. I'm going to give myself advantage. No, you're not. Can I give him advantage? If he explains it better, then uh, then I'm going to give myself advantage, sure. Uh, Power is going to make a prayer and listens to the voices that are talking uh, to him as he's made a, it. his prayer around. around the camp and listens to see if any voices are telling him in his head what to say in order to lie better to straw and he picks one distinct voice out and it explains that you can convince this being that he's wrong uh you hear one voice actually uh you you feel yourself begin to speak almost uh, like you were watching yourself do so but what comes out is a beautifully crafted lie you claim that while you did have his journal it was unfortunately stolen by the the uh oh my god Vistani uh the last time you were at their camp uh Strahd looks at you for a moment uh then looks hard into your eyes and says ah a lie an untruth your deception is not your own as well interesting well, I should need my journal returned to me. And he walks forward right up to the line where your uh, holy uh, incense was spread and stops there. GM. Yes. How much time has passed? Uh, it is just after dark. Have we had, like, has an hour passed? Like, have we essentially Not a full hour, no. Rest? Okay. Um, I would also like um, perception checks from everyone but Hauer. Um, it would be funny if I opted to dramatically fail, but I think I should probably just make the check. Uh, maybe the dice will dramatically fail for you. <laughs> they didn't, but I, they almost uh, did. Ooh. Uh, okay, so Emerald and Gwen... Power, what are you doing? I said not you. Oh. Emeril uh, and Gwen, you note that there are a bunch of people in the just by the tree line staring at you. You notice them because you can see pairs of glowing red eyes in the woods. Uh, Strahd continues. If you'll simply return my journal to me, I shall see that you are left in peace for the evening. That is no fun. I'm sorry, fun? You seem yes. quite injured. It is not fun. I think we make that deal. He looks at you and says, I am not a merchant. No, am I. But I think I can make this more fun for you. He waves a hand. You see... We encounter some challenges in this land, your land, that is. And sometimes I think you do this for fun. So I want to ask a favor for you if we are going to exchange this book. He says, it is rare the thief that simply uh, bargains to give back the stolen item. I am not an ordinary thief. Strahd doesn't like being psychoanalyzed, and he also fucking hates and thieves. And besides that, I do not recall the book yeah. being in your possession when we took it. Uh, he looks at you, just staring into your eyes. <laughs> do I know? of a place, a cold place, up in the mountain. Uh, as soon as you say that, Strahd lashes out immediately, his hand driving for your heart. 
Uh, give me a second to launch this attack, and then we'll roll a fucking initiative. Yay! No RP. Yay! <laughs> I we did it, guys. I'm st <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but he has motivations. I can't just not. You can You very easily could have just not actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, I guess sure. Uh, Strad is going to uh, dun 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 dun. One sec. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he lashes out, um, the attack, striking your armor but deflecting off, and, uh, then this is gonna fucking happen, I guess. So, I have another question for you. Okay. The okay. base rules state three attunement slots. Uh, okay. are we're you gonna, going to We're gonna do five? three, yeah. Okay. Uh, how did he only roll a 13? What the fuck, Strahd? Uh, anyway. How does he only have plus four to an attack roll? Well, for one, he's not hes not a, uh, a fucking fighter. Ah, uh, fair. Uh, this button, this button. Great. Uh, that... I guess we can't I click on characters right now, so you'll yeah. have to put it in yourself. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put you guys on the map. Um, you're not actually here. We're going to theater the mind this, but uh, that way you can give yourself initiative. Yeah, that's fair. Don't want to overwhelm your computer with uh, the... Well, it's now tried to load... Uh, the procedural landscape yeah, generation. It's trying to load you guys as giants now, so it's under quite a lot of stress. Oh, but like it's like realistic lighting and everything though, like and like the way we impact like the ground and the way the grass bends is all like accurately modeled. Mm -hmm. I've realized I can just rotate myself. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Upside Boop. grim. Boop. Uh. Uh. Gwen, could you re-roll your initiative, please, after selecting your token? Uh, Howard Ditto. There's Gwen, and Gwen, I'm gonna bust your initiative down. Sorry, buddy. How did he miss? Because he's not a fucking fighter. Okay, so uh, Strahd lashes out, misses, but then uh, simply follows up with yet another strike, trying to plunge his uh, hand through your chest, uh, which he uh, does this. Does that hit? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and having done that, he then uh, sinks his fangs into your neck, which fail to pierce the armor that you're wearing. Uh, I'm already, I'm dead. And I think so, I am, no, I'm not. You're not dead, you're unconscious. You don't right. take the bludgeoning damage though. Uh, why not? Why? Read, read the write-up of his attack. It states that he can grapple instead of dealing bludgeoning. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't know what his hit He didn't are, need to um, grapple, though. Strahd didn't bother. He just knocked him the fuck out and then went in for the bite. Oh, I didn't realize that's... I Yeah, I didn't, we didn't know 14, that he was down. 24, necro or 24 damage total. He down, buddy. So Strahd lashes out uh, with two attacks in rapid succession. The second one striking Howard directly in the chest, knocking him back to the ground as uh, you can see black foam... Uh, leak from his mouth then Strahd uh, bites down on uh, Howard's neck uh, Howard's armor the only thing that protecting that protects him uh, Candle what you doing I'm gonna uh, use healing word on Howard to get him up okay um, let me just roll that real quick here just a sec please do how do you guys manage to always fucking say the thing that makes Strahd... I guess Strahd's kind of a shitty person, so there's that. Uh, okay. Uh, you heal 7 HP, Howard. Yay! And then you're gonna uh, Dimension Door, I see, on your turn. 
Uh, Kendall, are you gonna move closer to him or farther away from him? Um, Candle doesn't know what to do right now, so I'm just gonna do the thing that lets me keep my friend alive. Okay. Um, I just want to be clear, you guys did hear that he's here for his journal. Um, everyone does. Grim, you're up. So, Grim sighs heavily. Uh, um, just kind of her eyes blinking closed, just for a moment. Um, and she stands, seemingly, like, un unworried about the battle. And she reaches into her bag and grabs the journal. Okay. Um, Six seconds of speech. Yeah, go ahead. You said we'd be alone for the night? He, His eyes whip over to you, his fangs fully extended and a look of hatred and rage on his face, which he quickly smooths over and says, Yes. Grim holds the journal out. He, uh, he stands off or he gets up off of power and... he waits for his fucking turn oh, yeah, because sorry. that's he a does. move yep. action you you're, butthead you're absolutely right uh are you done with your turn yes he takes a legendary action gets up off power and uh uh curls his finger at you indicating that you should come to him emerald you're up well that that's all my move action so <laughs> fuck you <laughs> i just i love the like no -uh, he has to do it on his turn because it's a move action i'm like fuck you legendary action <laughs> all right guys we wasted his legendary action beat him uh, <laughs> yes I'm his gonna... one legendary action <laughs> are we aware that he stopped at the barrier uh yeah unfortunately howard was right on the barrier so either he can't walk past it or he just didn't need to one of the yeah. two I'm going to walk up to the opposite side of the barrier. Okay. I'm going to look at him and I'm going to touch my I'm going to reach into my robes. Okay. And I'm going to look him dead in the eyes and say, "This is for Elian." And activate the amulet of Ravenkind's daylight effect. Oh. And bear it at him. Interesting. Not over the barrier though. I will still hold it behind where I saw how we're walking. Okay. Toki, uh, I'm gonna need you to link that power. Uh, mm. I you never gave us the write up. All I know is that it can cast daylight, or uh, okay. uh, do the daylight effect. Just give me one sec. I'll look it up. Boys. I will look it up. It'd be pretty funny if you guys killed Strahd right now. Yeah, that would like end the campaign, wouldn't it? Uh, all right, good game, guys. You kill Strahd. Game over. You win. I'm, of course, kidding. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, you extend daylight at him. And then I snap my eyes shut. Okay. Oh, smart, smart, smart. Um, so, uh, as you do so... Uh, Strahd hisses in agony and then uh, immediately sprints away, moving much faster than he should be able to as a human man. Uh, and he leaves straight up, just retreats. He can with the legendary action, Blackthorn. What up? Did the other eyes leave? <laughs> uh, yes, actually, they do. Suddenly. Okay. Okay. Thank God. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're no longer in combat unless you want to pursue. No. No. <laughs> Sorry, hang on one sec. I just gotta, I just gotta do something here. I quickly, uh, talk to Emerald. Who has the journal right now? I didn't see that Grim had it. I just heard a dr Grim. We must make sure this gets out of our position. We must keep it somewhere safe. All right. Are you guys going to move again? Strahd moves up to his speed oh, without I, provoking opportunity still up attacks. Strahd is still there, so. Oh, yeah, you got a point. Hang on. There you go, buddy. We should make several copies of the journal and disseminate it among the populace. 
That is an option, yes. I'll just leave this right up here so you can see that I'm right. Uh, okay, so you're going to go hire a scribe? Estrada is still there. At this time of day? Localized entirely in your kitchen? Aurora Borealis! In front of my salad? Um, Mile! It's more likely than you think. It's a good thing we have the steam test. Strahd moves <laughs> up to his speed. Uh, so... Eh. Grim kind of nods. And also, it doesn't provoke. But this is the uh, operant part. This is an option I can think of, which is we give it to Van Richten for safekeeping. It doesn't appear that he knows what is going on with him. Maybe. But I don't trust it. Um, Candle's just gonna cut in right now and say, He might still be listening. This is true, yes. I should shut my mouth. He's not. He's actually I furious right now. I am going to right do now. a perception check to see if there are any animals around. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, there can, are. Can you describe, perchance, how her you are doing that? Uh, at the mention of uh, Candle saying he may still be listening. I will tune back to what we were told previously and that all of the animals obey Strahd, save for the crows, and I will scan both the forest and the area around us to look for them. I would like to That's give you That's correct, Blackthorn. Uh, okay, go ahead. So, uh, you look at... Whoops, sorry, don't worry about that. <laughs> 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 All right, so you get punched in the fucking mouth. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Strahd's no longer there, but you he still makes one unarmed strike against you. He uses creation slaying oblivion kick, and everyone takes infinite damage. Anyway. That was very perceptive. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Avril's just looking around, and then all of a sudden gets punched in the mouth, and he's like, he's still here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Emerald, you look around and you note that there are a number of ravens around here, but there are also a number of, uh, of small animals like rats. Uh, he absolutely will, can, yeah. Uh, Strahd is hard to I will raise my beat. finger to my mouth to try and dissuade talking and then gesture to the animals. Uh, the ravens, uh, caw at you. And then I think Gwen did a thing. Oh yeah, Gwen drops to the hard ground, then laying down, lays down doll-like. Doll a long, deep sigh emanates uh, from her, and then she throws double middle fingers up into the sky. Well, fuck you too, Gwen. Grim, Grim kind of chuckles, and then also double middle fingers the sky. Uh, it's just like Grim you know, is struck by I lightning. I feel, I feel like that's, uh, I think, a, a very big mood. Grim okay. sits down on the uh, ground, laughing. Do you guys go back to resting? So, how long has it been since we uh, all met up? Just like a week at most. I ask the rest of the party. Okay, I'll, I'll shut up. Sorry, I didn't hear. Can you repeat that? Uh, Grim asked, "How long is it? Has it been since we all met up?" A few, a few weeks. Sure. I think you're all right. I cannot recall myself. The thing, Blackthorn, that makes Strahd even more impossible to be. So, let me show you something. Oh, Candle says. It has been eleven days and six hours. Thank you, Candle. So, what happens after? Whatever happens. Like, if. three weeks at what, most, Blackthorn. What is the plan for after? What do you mean by after? Well, eventually, 
well, either we'll die and then we'll be warm food in the ground, or up in the permafrost, but, uh, well, where do we leave? Those are the two is, options, yeah. pretty much. Unless you want to live your life out here, which, uh, well, after that, uh, she indicates down the road. Don't think it's an, it's an option anymore. I do not know about the rest of you, but I intend to find a particular person and avenge my wife. Hmm. I do not ask for any help from the rest of you on this, but that is where I was before I came here. What about you, Gwen? A career change? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> She said not even moving from being just, like, collapsed on the ground. No, that's fair. They don't pay bounty hunters enough, perhaps. Yeah. Not to do the... this crap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what about you, Emero? I have some stops to make back home. Elian's family. And I need to figure out where V ended up. Other than that, no plans myself. If we make it and we win, if we defeat him, I will join you on that journey as well. It is a respect I must pay to them. Especially to Candle, what about you? Um, Candle looks at you quietly for a moment and then says, No plans. <laughs> Completely impassively. Excellent. Uh, I was going to ask, um, actually for some help after. If that's what I, I feel like. I can do that now. Of course. What do you need help with? You are the strongest person I have ever encountered. And I have encountered large dinosaurs. Uh, I want to take down the slaving ring that I drew up. Power kind of rocks back and forth, thinking about this. Well, you know, very fine people, both sides, all that. I will help you with anything that you require, should you have my help. Appreciate it. Myself as well. You saved it was my a life. crack at. I figure uh, I owe you one as well. At the bad, the bad orange man. It wasn't an well. uh, endorsement of his politics. Uh, yeah. she kind of looks at Emeril and says, I didn't know Slavery Alien bad. Don't worry, guys. or V personally, but that seems like the first stop. Uh, Candle just quickly chimes in with, Fuck slave owners. Let's do it, fam. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if you yeah, have used I don't know why you'd think I'd be okay with Candle. fucking slavery. Oh no, I've heard him say fuck before. I have no, I... only, only sparingly, however. Yeah, it's the best thing to I mean, ever hear. Actually, Black Do you remember? It's like, it's like I, hearing yeah, a toddler say it's fuck. It's I hilarious. It, it is very fun, yes. <laughs> I don't understand how you learned the language, Kendall, but it, it appears that someone read the book to you and you are trying to piece together language from another robot. They have always known language. The best I, part I is know. Candle knows several. 
I, I know, I, and Howard kind of scratches his head and he's like, I, I do not mean to judge. I'm sure your skills as a linguist are, are cunning. Yes, he does, but Blackthorn. I am not sure. It, it sounds so different from the rest of how you speak. Do you remember how you learn language? Correct, Blackthorn. I have always known how to speak. He, uh, it won't stack, do not though. Know it if won't I'm stack. asking the right question, but I thank you for your answer anyway. He just uh, can't stays nods at you expressionlessly. At exhaustion, <laughs> and he doesn't recover. Howard kind of, um, you see him twirling the, uh, the Mace of Terror, and then he puts it away and, uh, takes out the goat's head corner stuff and stares at it. Okay. I think uh, with Grim whispering in Emerald's ear and Gwen fighting to stay awake, uh, we're going to wrap it up there tonight, guys. Unless anyone has something they want to bring up. Uh, nothing that can't be said next game. Mm, okay. That was Curse of Strahd, everyone. How's how's everyone feeling? How's everyone doing? Uh, cozy, talking about future plans with my little D&D &D party at the campfire. Uh, my favorite part is, uh, what plans do you have after this is all done, Candle? And Candle's like, existential crisis? No plans. <laughs> 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 that was pretty great. Uh, okay. So it's the end of the night. We're gonna do votes. Uh, player vote. You know, you players know how player vote works. And then, uh, uh, <laughs> Emerald, I see your name change. Uh, Not just mine. Yeah, and Gwen. Oh my god. Uh, and then chat can vote for who they thought was the best player of the night. Um, we'll start with Grim. Grim, who you want to vote for? Um, my vote is for uh, my votes for Candle right now. Okay. Uh, do you want to say hi to Uncle Jijo? No. Okay. No, he wants to be a goblin. Oh, now I'm sad. Okay. Uh, Howard, who you want to vote for? Uh, everybody was exceptional tonight. Uh, there were two players that I thought stood out, um, just based on ridiculous things that they've done in character. Um, Grim, I really, really want to vote for you. And Candle, I also want to vote for you because of the craziness that you are doing. Uh, but I think I have to hand it to Emerald uh, for jumping off a cliff and running down the side of a cliff with a narrative style run, I'm assuming. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. And the it's other part was faster. the heads up play, saving our bacon with the um, uh, the Ravenloft symbol. That's so, I, yeah, I mean, like, I really want, I know. Grim and Candle are going to get some votes because how could you not vote for either one of them? But I have to give it to Emerald because you literally saved my life tonight. So thank you, Emerald, that you get it. Fair enough. Um, after we do votes, remind me that I want to talk about something. Uh, anyway, Candle, Candler, Candlington. Who you want to uh, uh, Candle? Legendary move by Grim to. <laughs> deck herself in the face to keep rage up and then all just the fact that, like that probably would have gotten the vote anyways but the fact that you got a nat 20 doing it and it ended up being a 32 to fucking break your own nose that's uh that's 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 quality D, &D content right there <laughs> that's so fucking great oh my god i gotta go clip that uh <laughs> emerald who you voting for so my honorable goes to Hauer uh, mm -hmm. for the mouthing off to Strahd about the keep that we told he never wanted anyone to know about and telling him that we know about it. Yeah, uh, you literally but... got told by an image of Strahd, turn back, there's nothing here, and you're just like, hey, Strahd, we went to this place. Is that an issue for... <laughs> <laughs> but I am going to give it to Grim for the self-inflicted broken nose. All right. Fair enough. And uh, Gwen, who you want to vote for? Um, for Howard, for our little Arky. That was me. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I believe Grim takes a vote. 
Uh, uh, wait, that means Howard takes the vote. Does it? Because there's two Howard votes. There's one one vote for everyone and then uh, two Howard votes. Well, there's. Oh wait, two. no. Uh, there's two wait, was Grim there votes. Panel votes. Two Grim votes. Oh, two Grim votes. Two Grim votes. Yeah, it's Grim vote. <laughs> Grim, congratulations. Uh, Grim also won the chat vote for the night. Also for just straight decking yourself in the face. That was absolute fucking gold. Yeah, I really wanted to vote for that, too. <laughs> uh, speaking of things, the, speaking of segues, uh, Grim, can you give oh. me a D tw D10 roll? Uh, also, honorable mention to Hauer for that absolute sexy last stand wombo combo into the fucking Revenant. That was... <laughs> that was quality. Uh, yeah. The... N <laughs> Literally, uh, Howard, you did literally just enough damage. Oh, sick. I didn't like, know. <laughs> right to zero. Yeah. Uh, so, great. Cool. Uh, Grim, you get the most <laughs> hilarious item drop I've ever seen. A potion of invulnerability. Because <laughs> you punch oh, yourself oh, in the nose. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Oh, that's really good, actually. Oh, fuck, that's so funny. <laughs> Breaks like, out nose, gains like, resistance okay, damage. Okay, okay, chat, that's chat. That's perfect poetic thing. Look at, look, at, look at this, chat. Look at this shit. She rolled a five, and here it is. Potion of Vulnerability. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. You can't make this shit up, man. Uh, okay, bye, Grim. Bye, Grim has to go do parenting stuff. But uh, everyone, XP... You may have uh, 2,100 XP. Um, so something I want to note, uh, as a DM, Curse of Strahd has been really interesting for me because most of the time uh, when I'm playing d and I try to make the players feel heroic because that's kind of the, the feeling of D&D, right? But in this game, you guys are struggling the whole time. And one of the things that I've been most surprised and impressed by with my players is that you guys consistently find your way out of situations that I don't know how you're going to get out of. Like, I was certain Strahd was going to roll up, you were going to be all injured and fucking broken, which, interesting, his timing on that, but not, don't read into it. Uh, I figured you were gonna, he was going to roll up, take the journal, and then fucking leave, and that would be it. Like, what are you going to do against Strahd when you're all that wounded? Uh, and the answer is fucking blow uh, light in his face and tell him to get fucked. Uh, uh, hey, Jorb. <laughs> yeah? Go look at the gallery. The gallery. Okay, okay. Let's take a look here. For things relevant to um, this particular uh, session. Okay, yeah, I see it. Uh, a boot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that in memes <laughs> for everyone to see. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love the elk. With eyes of hate. That's so great. Uh, I'm guessing that was Levana. Yeah, that was Levana. Uh, yeah. Good work, Levana. I, I love it. Uh, at any rate, guys, that will be it for me for tonight. Everyone say goodbye. Good night. Bye, Bye chat. Bye, Have a good night, chat. Thanks for being here. I will be back tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock to play some more Dark Souls. Come check it out. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for us. Have yourself a good night, everyone. Uh, Bittles.